What's going on, beautiful people? Uh, this is Brother Omawale tapping in with a quick uh, midday meditation, a quick reflection uh, for my family in the War College. Y'all really do have to pardon me today. I am uh, losing my voice. Uh, I'm, I am sipping on some, some ginger tea with some lemon in it and some throat coat to try to keep my voice, but... I didn't want to let y'all down. I, I still wanted to get this soapbox session out to y'all uh, today. And hopefully by the time <clears throat> by the time Thursday session is here, my, my voice will be back to where it's supposed to be. But um, what I just got finished sharing was a clip that I saw yesterday uh, being circulated on Twitter. Uh, it was shared from an account called Scott Detro. So that's at Scott Detro, S-C-O-T-T-D-E-T-R-O-W. And it was called Marching. And um, in the video, you see a number of elders holding hands, arm in arm, hand in hand, walking across uh, the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And in this video... You see Reverend Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, MLK Jr. Uh, you see his son. You see Kamala Harris. You see the president of the NAACP. And just a lot of elders, um, a lot of older black people kind of at the front of this huge march going across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And, you know, when I'm, when I'm looking at this clip... It's it's um it's actually pretty hurtful uh, to to watch uh, because this this clip is really reflective of the state of consciousness of our people and the state of of poor leadership that Black people have to contend with here in the United States. You know, it's always interesting to me that. You know, before Dr. King transitioned, before he was assassinated, it's reported that he was he was having a conversation with Harry Belafonte. At what point? At which point he stated that he fears he may have integrated his people into a burning building. And subsequent generation after generation, and even folks that are from, you know, that particular epic, you know. When, when the civil rights struggle was at its highest um, form. It's like if we understand that it's a burning building, then what logic, what sense does it make to try to march our people to the hundredth floor in a burning building? Because that's, that's what I see us continuing to do. Like we understand that the building is condemned. We understand that the building is on fire. But yet and still, we're going to march into this burning building with our children, with all of our belongings, because, you know, we're not going to let white supremacy turn us around. You know, this was very, very hurtful uh, to watch, to be very honest. You know, if you see the clip, actually, I'll, I'll put a link to the clip in the description box of this video. But you see, you know, Reverend Al Sharpton at the front of the pack looking at his phone the entire time they're marching. And it's like, if this is the leadership that black America is supposed to follow, then um, I don't even want to say it. But yeah, you know, this is, this is probably going to be a very short soapbox today, family. I'm not going to lie. My voice is just really not in, in the best of shape. Um, but I was moved to, to speak on this particular uh, issue when I saw it. You know, to be honest, like just just looking at this video, like it, it really is a reflection of of where we are as a people, and we need we need to do something different. Uh, marching is not going to get it. 
um, we need to get serious about organizing and and activating ourselves for self-determination and self-protection and self-development because appealing to this system is, is not going to work for us as a people. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a wrap for this right here, y'all. Like, so... That being said, I am glad that our War College community is growing. We're gaining new members every day. And I think that we're going to have an opportunity to shift the paradigm in terms of how we engage our people and how we engage our community. Um, so that being said, family, I'm, I'm going to tap out because my voice doesn't want me to be great today. <laughs> so I'm going to continue to um, have my tea and my, uh, my lemon, my ginger, to try to repair my voice. Um, you know, it's crazy, man. These people, these people are putting all types of poisons and sickness out here in the world. Like, I mean, the pandemic was one thing, you know, where they were clearly attacking our lungs. But, you know, these things they're putting out here, like this, this ain't no normal goddamn cold, I tell you that. <laughs> but... That being said, family, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to fight through it. I'm giving my body the medicine that it needs to recover and recuperate. So I should be back uh, very strong, and it won't be too long. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace. We out.